Hello, I'm Pastor Don Smith from the Waynesfield Baptist Church in Waynesfield, Ohio. We're located at 512 North Westminster Street in Waynesfield. Our worship times are at 8.30 a.m. with Sunday school at 9.30 for all ages, and we worship again at 10.30 a.m. You can find us on YouTube and Facebook, and on Wednesdays mornings you can find our devotional on uh, both of those, YouTube and Facebook. Come and join us, and we'll be glad to see you.
Well, hello again, and uh, welcome to this week's edition of the Waynesville Baptist Church Devotional Time. Again, I'm Tom Hudson, uh, one of the deacons here at the church, and it's my privilege to uh, serve my God and Father in heaven and to uh, bring you a small portion of Scripture today. Uh, I would like to begin by reading Matthew 6, 9 through 13. This should be familiar to uh, all of you listening. And uh, as I read out of my Bible, it's in red, so that tells me that it's the words of Jesus Christ himself. And in this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Uh, I want to talk to you about prayer. Uh, as you know, the Lord's Prayer is a sample prayer issued by Jesus Christ himself. Because people thought, how do we pray? So he gave them this, this very simple, uh, very challenging, very meaningful prayer. But I want to talk to you today about how to pray. A lot of people, um, they get confused. They say, how do I pray? What do I say? What is prayer? And I want to just talk to you a little bit about that today. And again, like I said, what is prayer? Basically, it's talking to God. Um, we have the privilege of going to the throne room of God uh, through grace and mercy, uh, through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Um, and it's talking to God one-on-one -on -one as our Heavenly Father. And it's a conversation, and I hope when you pray, you make it a two-way conversation. A lot of people go to God with a wish list, and they say, Oh God, I, you know, I'm done. Uh, you take it from here. But we need to, uh, like I've uh, spoke to you before, we need to be still and hear that still, small voice of God, because He will speak to us. Um, I know in the T Old Testament, uh, we hear where uh, God actually spoke. And, uh, you know, what an awesome thing that would be to hear the voice of God. But he speaks to us in so many different ways. He speaks to us uh, through his word, through music, uh, through uh, speaking to our mind and, and, and to our heart. And But we need to be still and we need to listen to God when we do pray to him. So just remember that. When, when we pray, we're talking to God one-on-one, -on -one, and that's as simple as it can be. And a lot of people say, well, how often should I pray? Well, the uh, Bible tells us, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.17, pray without ceasing. Uh, pray to God continually. Uh, I know Pastor Don's told the story of a young man that he knew, I believe, uh, I don't know if it was church camp or a, a fellow uh, college student, but uh, they told him to pray continually, and he would pray with his eyes closed, and, and that's a kind, of a, a kind of a silly thing to do, especially if you're walking around or driving a car. But uh, you can pray with your eyes open. It's just uh, communing with God, talking to God, but just pray continually. Constantly seek uh, guidance and direction from your Heavenly Father. And then in Romans 11, 33 through 36, I'd like to read that to you. And that says, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has become his counselor, or who has first given to him, and it shall be repaid to him? For of him and through him and to him are all things, to him be glory forever. Amen. When you talk to God, he's not surprised. Uh, and don't be surprised that he isn't. He knows what we're thinking. He knows what we're going to say. But he wants to hear from us anyway. So don't go into prayer with your wish list saying, God, you know, this is what I want and uh, this is only what I want and I will accept nothing less. But go into prayer knowing that God knows your heart, he knows your mind, he knows your needs and your wants, and your wishes and your heart's desires, and uh, he is a loving and caring and a giving God, and he wants to bless us in so many ways. But when you go into prayer, know that God's not surprised. We can't counsel him and tell him anything that he doesn't already know. 
So open your heart and your mind when you pray to God and listen to what he has to say to you. And then in James 5.16, and James 5.16 says, And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And I am reading the wrong one. Excuse me. 5.16. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Now, the Bible tells us that no one's righteous except Jesus Christ himself. But because of the shed blood, we can know that our prayers are heard. We can know that we can be effective if we are speaking from the heart, speaking uh, from the very depth of our soul to our God and Father in heaven. And then in Romans eight twenty six through 27... It says, Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with the groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the heart knows that the mind of Spirit is because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. There are times when our, our spirit is broken. Um, we're at a loss for words. We're beside ourselves. We're deep in grief, uh, we're deep in worry. That's when the, the Holy Spirit will speak for us. Our mind is just mush. But again, God knows our hearts, He knows our needs, He knows our wants, He knows every situation. But we just have to say, Dear God and Father, help. That's a simple prayer, and He knows what has to be done and in a timely fashion and there's one last thing I'd like to leave you with and this is not something I've come up with it's something I've been told I've heard I uh, did a little research again uh, on the internet but it's ACTS ACTS it's not the book of ACTS it's an acronym for A adoration and acknowledgement C confession T thanksgiving S is supplication and intercession. When you pray, include all of these things. First of all, we need to acknowledge God, the Father in heaven, and we need to do so out of our adoration for him. He loves us, and we need to love him back because he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. So when you speak, acknowledge that you're speaking to God. I've been in a room full of people, and I've had somebody start talking, and they look at me like I'm a a two-headed lizard because I'm not responding and they'll say well didn't you hear me speak to you and I say well did you even address me before you started to speak so when you speak to God in prayer acknowledge him as your Heavenly Father and do so out of love and see his confession uh, again the Bible tells us is if we have anything against a brother we need to go take care of that first because sin is our separation that separates us from God man from God so we need to confess our sins to God during our prayer to say, God, I've sinned against you. Cleanse me of my, my heart uh, of all unrighteousness that you would hear my prayer, that there would be nothing to stop my prayers from reaching you. So confess your sins, know that God hears you and will uh, forgive you of your sins and that he will hear your prayer and that he will respond to you. And then always include thanksgiving. Thank God for everything, the small, the large, and everything in between. He has blessed us with so many things. Thank God for prayer. Uh, thank God for his word. Thank God for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Thank God for church. Thank God for Christian music. Uh, thank God for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank God for your church and your pastor. Uh, thank God for uh, our men and women in uniform that stand guard every day uh, to put their lives on the line. Just. Thank God for your wife, your children, your home, your job. It, it, it's endless. But give thanks to God for what he's blessed you with. And finally, uh, supplication. That's where you tell God, he already knows, but you tell God what's on your heart. You tell God what uh, situations are going on, 
uh, how you would like to see them handled. Know that he will handle them to the best of his ability, which is above our ways of thinking, but he will handle them correctly. Uh, sometimes uh, we don't see them dealt with in the way we think, but if God's dealing with it, he's dealing with the best way possible. But give supplication for the things in your life, uh, the things you need, the things you see that need to be dealt with. And finally, uh, make intercession for those uh, who can't uh, speak for themselves. Uh, we need to uh, intercede for those who are lost in their sins that need Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We need to intercede for those who are uh, less fortunate than ourselves. Uh, we need to uh, intercede for uh, family situations. We need to intercede for uh, people going uh, the wrong direction that need to be turned around and headed back to Jesus Christ. So when you pray, take the time to listen because it is a two-way conversation. Remember the Lord's Prayer. That is a model prayer. But also remember these four things. Adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. Include those in your prayer, and you'll never go wrong. Father God, uh, I've talked about prayer, and uh, the, I'm coming to you right now. I just pray that what I've said goes out, uh, that your word does not come back void. I pray, that, Father, that those that might hear this uh, today will be challenged and convicted in their heart. Uh, to begin a, a life of prayer, uh, to seek you out through prayer, and to listen to what you have to say back to them. Father, there are so many things to pray for, and so many things to give you thanks for, um, and so many uh, things that uh, you have blessed us with. And uh, we just praise your holy name, and I give you thanks and praise in Christ's name and for his sake. Amen. It's like the light, new mercies will.